I've told some of you to download OpenOffice uh, and install it on your computers um, and try to do the assignments based on that. So here is a uh, walkthrough of this for people who are having difficulty. Uh, you open up Internet Explorer. Here we have Internet Explorer and uh, the website you go to is openoffice.org. It loads up and then uh, over here it says getopenoffice.org you click on this. Uh, from there uh, we click on download openoffice.org and we choose Windows. Uh, we scroll down, we go to continue the download and we choose run. And it'll take however many minutes it takes to download it. Um, and I'm just pausing it here, and at the, after it downloads, uh, we will proceed with this walkthrough. Once it finishes downloading, um, we'll uh, enter this. We'll get the security warning. Uh, the publisher cannot be verified if you want to run the software, and we'll say run. And then uh, we'll have this screen that says Open Office 2.3 installation package, um, and we are supposed to click next to continue. So we will. Next, it'll want to put it in some folder. It doesn't matter. But it just accept what it suggests. So we'll unpack it. We'll just uh, effectively click next, and it's going to uh, install it. So um, we'll wait here. It doesn't need to be taking so long. Um, but I will just actually put this until. Uh, oh, here we go. It uh, is la launching now. Windows Explorer. Uh, Windows Installer. Um, we click next. We accept the terms. We click next, we give a username and organization, uh, doesn't really matter, just put in any text over here, we go to next, do a complete installation, um, and then you could set it as a default application to open all sorts of different files, so we could set it to, as a default to open up Microsoft Word documents, Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, and Microsoft PowerPoint presentations, um, especially if uh, you're installing this on your computer because you don't have Microsoft Office uh, installed already, um, which is most likely if I'm sending you this video, uh, this is the situation, so you want to check these off. Um, that way it'll associate uh, the particular application with the files that you need. So check off these checkboxes, and we'll go next and install. Um, and then it will install all sorts of things that are necessary. And we'll just wait. And it may take a while, so uh, just be patient and bear with it. I'm just going to pause it and we'll resume once it's done copying these files. And then after copying all these files, we'll be back at the installation wizard where it says that it's successfully installed OpenOffice 2.3. Uh, click exit to fin exit the wizard. So we'll say finish, and then uh, it will have been installed. So make sure that it's installed. Um, we'll go for a moment, um, and uh, we'll click on the start button. And um, on the start button, we'll go to all programs, and we have uh, now on uh, all programs is going to be something called OpenOffice.org, um, and uh, among uh, the various applications that you have, you have OpenOffice Impress, which is the equivalent of, uh, of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, and this is the one that you actually uh, needed in order to, um, uh, to, to work on, the, on that homework. So OpenOffice Impress is the equivalent of PowerPoint. OpenOffice Writer is the equivalent of Microsoft Word. Uh, OpenOffice Calc is the equivalent of Excel. And OpenOffice Base, when we eventually get to it, is going to be the equivalent of Access. So now you have all of these uh, files uh, that are, uh, well, all of these programs, I mean, that are necessary for doing the homework. Um, okay, so now uh, that you have it there and you've associated those files, um, so there's two things that you could do. One thing is you could do, do uh, start all programs, go to impress and launch it, and We'll see over here, let's drag this up a little bit. Um, it's going to launch in a moment. Um, it might take a little bit of time the first time. 
uh, but here it's starting openoffice.org 2.3 um, and uh, the first time you might have to go through a whole series of uh, a wizard so we'll just click on next this first time and at this point you have to scroll down through the entire um, uh, license agreement they just want you to read this license agreement and once you scroll all the way to the end you say accept and they ask you for your username and uh, first name and last name and you go to next and at this point um, it's going to be too complicated for you to register now you don't really need to register say say I do not want to register and click on finish um, it'll uh, it won't ask you for all of this after the fir th this first time so the next time you launch uh, and press uh, it's not going to bother you with that and then presentation wizard you want to open it up uh, you want an empty presentation from a template or open an existing presentation so right now we could start an empty presentation and they give you all sorts of different choices of uh, what kind of presentation you want to create and then you could just keep on going next to this wizard you just say create and they'll start it up for you and uh, here is something that looks very similar uh, to uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, here are the, here's the slide view over here. Um, a, a list of the slides. Here's uh, where you could, we have different layouts. Here's the text of various slides. And you just start working with it and try going through the, the instructions um, in that uh, hands-on exercise two um, to start going through various things. Um, now, just to show you an interesting thing, um, if you go to c colon slash exploring PowerPoint, which was one of the things that you downloaded from uh, Grower from the Prentice Hall website, so uh, you have all sorts of different files that are now associated with um, uh, with uh, w they're associated with Impress. Uh, usually they would have been a, a associated with PowerPoint, but since you don't have PowerPoint installed, they're associated with this Impress, uh, OpenOffice Impress. So you could double click on any of them, and it'll launch Impress uh, together with uh, the text that you would want. So um, you could then view it and work with it and so on. Uh, so that's how you can download it and run it uh, and so on. And similar, uh, similarly, um, if we look in uh, c colon slash uh, exploring word, so um, all of these word documents are associated with writer. So for example, chapter one, practice one, the basics of word processing. Uh, you double click on that and it'll open up uh, open office writer uh, where uh, you'll be able to edit it so hopefully this uh, walkthrough will have enabled you to um, work through the uh, will, will enable you to work through the uh, various uh, homeworks at home so good luck with this and let's end the video and I'll see you on Sunday if you have any questions um, yeah feel free to email me